have all the time trying to grow it all. With more Super Mario Galaxy in the last part, we did the Bowser Star Reactor mission and we get on one take and we battle Bowser. And then we also took three takes, I believe, to get the Daredevil comment for the Topsy Turvy um, Star Mission. I can't remember the exact name of the mission, but yeah. Now with, um, with that grand star we got from Bowser Star Reactor, we unlocked um, this part of the dome and it's the uh, Kitchen Observatory. So, where do we want to start? Um, hmm, I guess we could start with this. Just all the random. Oh, we use Galaxy. Oh, great, this looks fun. I think our star count right now is like 26. I think it's 26. Through the poisonous, through the poison swamp. Great. Look at the fire background, jeez. <laughs> yes. How a glorious starship is it's such when it's crashed? Okay. Hmm. Ooh, the wind sure is strong here, eh? Don't you think it'd be awesome if you could ride the wind? Maybe there is a way. I don't know where to go, though. Huh, maybe this bubble has something to do. Hey, before you ride any bubbles, let you most truly feel bored. Bend your ear for a sec. You can move around in your bubble by holding down A, but do it while your star pointer is falling on the bubble. If you go too far to one side, use star bubble to the other side. Sounds easy. Oh. Okay, this is a little harder than I thought, but it's kind of simple. Okay, don't want to hit that bomb right there. <laughs> We're not that stupid. There's one. Huh. Interesting. I do not know where to go. Maybe this isn't the way right now. This is really... I don't know. I like I'm gonna get all those. Really, kind of just a lot of stuff. Okay. Gosh, that was close. Crap. Crap. Ah, oh, that sucked. I have to start all the way back here, that's stupid. I'll cut to where I was at. And I died again. I died again, crap. I 
this is um, really crappy. There we go. Come on, just well. Oh. Okay, I think the star bit will go. And the star piece will just go around. Follow the coin trail. Is there a trick here? Okay, I'm going back the way I came actually. I don't know if that's the smartest move, but you know. Yeah, it took that long. Out of all those stuff, I got like four. <laughs> hey, I forgot to tell you something. So if you get in a bubble and you want to go back to the surface, just press C to get down. Oh yeah, if you get pinched by moving obstacles, the, that big bubble is going to burst, so watch out. Okay, that's how you get out, okay. Oh, this looks fine. I have to go in that little gap, I think. Oh, I went all of the star bits. This looks fun. Oh my gosh. Please tell my guy checkpoint. Okay, guy guy checkpoint. I saw the star right there too. I'm going super fast. <laughs> I'm not going for the stuck that coin. I 
I can't, I, I, are you kidding me? That is just stupid. Come on, that was bull. That was just bull. It was red bull, to be exact. Ha, sucker! I'm not going for the one up. I have plenty of lives. I don't need it right now. I hear the star, I think. What? No! Uh, are you kidding me? No! Seriously? Did I actually get it this time? Yes, star power. That was stupid and I'm glad I'm done with it. <laughs> Galaxy complete, yeah. Who's in a or something? Now you can read the storybook. Okay, let's go read the storybook after we save. So many Limbas. Let us begin. Let us begin. <laughs> cool. Chapter 1 The L Celestic O Duo. Pretty sure I said that right. Our story begins on a very, very long time ago with a young girl one day. My bad. A story begins out of it. Am I really that bad at this? Okay, I won't touch any buttons and fix the fray when I'm ready. Okay, our story begins on a... Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted starship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma. And I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comment, said the star child who had begun waiting day and night. Aww. Pinky promise. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. 
At nightfall, the little girl borrowed his father's telescope, her father's telescope, my bad, and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still, the sky revealed, re revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Oma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't you go out there? Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and the woman fixed up the rusty starship and then the two set a sail into the star sky. And this is how the search for the celestial, celestial, celestial mother began. I think I said that right yet again. Maybe not. Chapter 2 Star Bits. Days passed with no sign of the comet, or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as I can see, could see. If we had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she packed all the essentials, telescope, butterfly, net, Stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea, but I forgot to bring water. And at this, the woman burst into gales of laughter, and the girl began to pout. As long as I have star bits, I'll be fine, said the woman. Once some, the little girl can stay mad after hearing this. Wuma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. That's so cool. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits tasted like honey. That should do it for today. Huh, so that may be the first part two chapters of Rose in a story, I'm guessing. Like, my friends told me that the story is so sad, but I've never, like, read it before, so I'm kind of excited to see more if there's more. Which I think there is, because we're only on chapter two of the book. So, um, I don't want this part to drag on too long, so I'll just cut off right here. Sorry for the only one star part. I just wanted to get the story in, I guess, because I wasn't really expecting it to be right after that story mission. So that's awesome. So I'm excited to hear more about the story. So this has been the end of my Super Mario Galaxy. So let's play part. In the next part, we'll take on, uh, more of the Kitchen Observatory and get more stars. Power stars. So this has been John Go again. I'd like to thank you for again. Goodbye, and hope to see you in the next part of my Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play.